Hey guys, we're back again today with a, another quick video. This time, I'm talking about this little uh, third-party item here, the ZG Cine charging case for the Rode Wireless Go 2 or the Wireless Go 1. It'll work with either one of them if you have the old ones. I do a lot of my work sort of on the go, traveling. I'm doing photo or video jobs, a lot of time staying in hotels, staying in Airbnbs with several other video creators as part of a larger video team. And one of the biggest premiums is power outlets. Power outlets are at a premium. When you've got a house full of photographers or videographers, everybody's got laptops, camera batteries, uh, iPhones, <laughs> Apple watches. You know, there's a million things have to be charged. When you take three of the plugs just to recharge your Rode Wireless Goes, that's kind of a problem. And that's one of the reasons I mostly have used the Hollyland Lark 150s because they come with a case that charges them and it only takes one plug and one outlet to charge all three items. That's where this guy comes in, the ZG Cine Wireless Go charging system. It basically kind of does what the Hollyland Lark 150 does, and in my opinion, what Rode should have probably done with the Wireless Go 2. So inside of this little, this little case here, you can charge all three of the pieces of the Rode Wireless Go 2. So you've got your two transmitters and your receiver, and you can charge them all right here in this case. Got to be full disclosure here. This case was sent to me by a website called Pergear. If you've never checked them out, they have really good affordable stuff, especially for people just starting out. They're not paying me to do this. They're not getting to see this first. I have no affiliate links with them. I get nothing. The only benefit to me is I get this. And speaking of what this costs, this costs $50, $49.99. I think right now for the holidays, they have it at 5% off. So it's like $47.99. So anyways, around $50. They're not buying my integrity for $50. I'm gonna tell you the truth about this. Uh, the only benefit to me is I get to keep it if I like it. If I don't like it, I'll, uh, I'll make an update video about it and tell you I threw it in the garbage and it was junk. Quality wise, it seems really decent. You know, it's plastic like you'd expect, but you know, I don't know why people hate on plastic so much, right? Let's not say it's plastic. Let's say it's a uh, high strength polycarbonate material. Does that sound better? Does that make it sound more powerful? or if I just say it's made out of plastic. So what this essentially does, it's basically like a battery bank for your wireless go-to system here. I don't know why Rode didn't think of this. Why didn't they include this when they built it or even make it as a, a, an aftermarket purchase? I'm sure they could have made a high quality little charging case like this for hundred bucks and people would have bought the heck out of them. One cool feature about this is it uses USB-C to charge it. And then it has a regular USB-C A that's sort of an output. So you could use this to charge your phone or I don't, it's 3,400 uh, milliamp hours. So I don't think you're charging a laptop or anything with it, but you could charge your phone with it. And the USB-C is an input. So the way this works is inside, it's just little USB-C plugs. The Rode Wireless Go's just have a USB-C input on the side and you just sort of, you know, you, you, it's kind of hard to screw it up. They're shaped perfect. You, Pop it in there and you'll see it immediately lights up and it's charging. Got the little LEDs on the front to indicate the charging levels. It will allow you to fully charge your wireless go. If you just use it for that, it'll allow you to charge it three times. So you've got three cycles with it. They do last a pretty long time. Uh, so this, this could get you through like a whole weekend. If this thing was fully charged and you had to shoot multiple times over a weekend, you wouldn't even need any power. You could use this. Claims to be fast charging. We'll see about that. I haven't used it long enough to, to confirm that. And it has uh, protections built in for, you know, over voltage or overcharging the batteries. So I think it's a decent investment for 50 bucks. I basically can charge my phone off of this, keep these things sort of ready to go. I like it. I like it so far. I'm going to give them a try. It comes with two USB plugs, which is nice. USB-C to USB-C, and then USB-C to USB-A. It also comes with this handsome leather-like case that you can put everything in because you can't really fit any of the cables in here, but you can fit this in here. Got this guy, put them in here. You could take your two cables, put them in here. If you want to take your two Rode Lavalier Goes, let's put those in the case, and they're little leather-like pouches. We're fitting it to capacity here, and then we got to have this little cable to actually connect it to your camera. So, you know, we got everything in here. Let me cinch it all up. I'm sure I could put it in a little bit more efficiently. But, you know, there's your little audio kit in the bag. Not bad to, like, stick in a corner of your backpack. This could work. This could work for you. Overall, pretty decent looking little product on the surface here. I'm going to have to give it a little more time and, and see how it works over the long haul. But 
I mean, for fifty dollars, I feel like it's worth worth a shot, and I like it. And I, uh, you know, for me, on the surface, I would recommend giving this a try if you own the Wireless Go Two or even the Wireless Go One, and this is a problem for you having to carry around all of these power bricks and cables. As always, thanks for watching, and we're gonna see you in the next video. Bye.